Currently outside, this is what the skies are looking like. It's a quiet one, 49 degrees, no weather problems brewing out there. 49 right now, so we just barely dropped below the 50 degree mark. For your day on Tuesday, all month long, I've been sort of talking about these days where, hey, there's a chance to see 60 degrees. Tomorrow, Tuesday, it's a little bit better bet. Okay, I think it's our best bet to catch 60 degrees. Tuesday, in fact, may end up being, <laughs> bear with me on this, tomorrow may end up being the best day of November. There's a chance here because this has been a really kind of chilly month below average. I think tomorrow's going to be a banner day. There's a western storm that I was just talking about around Denver and still headed in our direction. But for us, I think the biggest effect will be the wind, more than like the big snows are getting around Denver. And that, I'm telling you, that storm's going to put snow from Denver all the way into the Midwest. I mean, a big swath of like a foot of snow for a lot of folks. For our area tomorrow, again, I think one of the best days in November. It's mostly sunny, milder. I'm going to go with that 60-degree mark. Here's the storm, okay, that we are watching right now around Denver. Let me show you how this is going to progress. So let's watch it on the future cast. Here it goes. It pushes up towards Minneapolis and Chicago, actually draws in some Gulf moisture. Now we have the front right there approaching our area. This is 10 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. So the front has not made its way through yet. So we're mild enough with a southwest flow. Start to see some chances for rain. There's definitely a rain chance for your day on Wednesday. So have an umbrella. I just believe you don't pick up all that much rain, and the bigger effects will be that wind that kicks in behind it. So let's talk about it. The wind is not an issue for your day tomorrow. By the time you get to Wednesday, Wednesday night is kicking up, and by Thursday, 9 a.m., this is parade time. Look at this. Everybody, what's the smallest number that you see? Uh, 36 mile per hour gust. In Central Park, 44 for Montauk, so let's say 35 to 45 throughout the area. Well, if you get 34 mile per hour gusts in New York City during the time of the parade, that affects the balloons. It means they've either got to bring them way down close to the ground or they've got to ground them, let them not be in the parade at all. 1971, last time we had a parade without balloons, it's a possibility. I'm keeping my fingers crossed it will, will be, it's going to be a windy day. It is going to be a windy day. I'm hoping they can at least let the balloons fly at a lower height because they're going to be affected. This I know. And across the board, the numbers look like this. We talk about tomorrow being a great day at 60 degrees. 57 Wednesday, still mild enough as that front comes through. Then the winds kick in. I mean, this is standard meteorological stuff. A front passes, the winds happen. And I just find the timing this year to be more problematic than it has been in the past. When I've all, we always say there's an issue with the winds. Yeah. Now, the winds could be close. I think there's, it, it's more problematic this year than some of the threats we've seen in the past. Wow. Okay, Lonnie, thank you. Okay, guys.